Hey guys, Nolan here. So today we're at Short Hulls and we're gonna be doing the Scarlet Tanager. Just whoop. And somewhere it turns in Hemlock Valley, I assume there, maybe a little earlier. Um, that's one way, that's closed though. So we're going this way. We're uh, here, this is Black Walnut. Got this map here. We're heading up. It is uh, probably gonna be pretty darn muddy. Unless, it depends on which way this reroute takes me because I've only ever been that other way and it was incredibly muddy. So we'll have to see how it, maybe I aiming at myself, to see how it turns out. Um, but there's this one area that was insanely muddy when I was here, back in May doing it. Um, and so hopefully it bypasses that, but starting off with a solid hill workout. Now, for the longest time I thought this trail was called the Scarlet Tangler, because like I saw Scarlet and then Tan, and it kind of, like I can just remember a blur of the last word there. So Tangler made a lot of sense in my head. But I guess it's Scarlet Tanager, named after a bird. But here in early November, still a little folly, but trees looking pretty naked. Okay, it is uh, definitely getting muddy. Oh, wow. And I don't have my hiking shoes on. I have my, my running shoes. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. wow, <laughs> that's uh, not going to be fun to get back down after for sure. Ooh. Wow, but I mean, my hiking shoes wouldn't help much because the mud still would have got stuck to them. So it's not a huge deal, but wow. Oh. I'm gonna assume because there's so much foliage still here. Ooh, deer. Wow. I'll check back in when I get somewhere hopefully nicer. So I imagine that's that other route. So now, ooh, we're just on, I guess, a singular path now, um, which I think means is I'm gonna have to go through that really, really bad area. But wow, it's flooded. Um. This area is all spooky because you're so far out of the way. Like I hate being here, but doing it for you guys. But like, it looks cool. It's just freaky because you're so far from everything. Like this is like the uh, Hemlock Valley Trail, the farthest you can get from a parking lot on a trail in Short Hills. But it looks pretty cool in here. Okay, we took off our long sleeve shirt and we're at this vegetation study area. So I guess they got a gate over there, just kind of observing stuff in here. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure how far I am on a trail. Ooh, that was a lot of mud covered by leaves. Um, but I imagine I should be getting relatively close. It's not a far trail or anything like that. Um, but it gets muddy, oh boy. Okay, so, um, by the way, all this information I'm telling you is pretty much from the uh, Friends of Short Hills website. Um, but it said for wildlife in here, you can see deer and turkey. Um, I'm not gonna be able to see them because I'm, I mean, there's leaves, grass pretty loud. Also, I'm recording, that's pretty loud. So they they definitely have ample warning to get away. But uh, yeah, it, it's possible. Maybe I'll see a deer, I would say is more likely. Gosh darn it. I feel like I'm gonna go on that side. Ooh, wow. Can't believe I made it past that. Um, but yeah, we're coming up. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> I have no idea how far I've gone on this trail. I have no idea how far I have to go, but at least this isn't too muddy because it's right in the sun. It's a little slippery, but it's not bad. Okay, so this is the super muddy part. Looks like there's a path this way now, but when I was here in May, I had to drudge through this part here to get around it. And I was just in complete puddles. It was awful. Kind of like this. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, there's some wet feet there. Oh, that's cold. Ooh. That was not 
much of a better route, I'm not gonna lie to you. My feet are drenched now, which is lovely. <sighs> but we made it past. Now we just have to, oh, well, we gotta go back through it. <sighs> but we're continuing on our way at least. Hopefully my feet will dry up a bit. God, there is just straight puddles in my shoes right now. Nice little uh, tree line over there. Looks very cute. First sign from Hemlock Valley this way. Whew. Now I'm not sure that means I'm done the Scarlet Tanager or not, but I mean, I'm gonna do them together in a video just cause it's like, they're pretty limp. Like if you wanna do the Hemlock Valley, you kinda gotta do the Scarlet Tanager. Um, which like, the, from my reflection, the Hemlock Valley was pretty nice. It's just the Scarlet Tanager kinda sucks. Um, so I don't know short hills if you wanna have some kind of access point um, on, what is it, Cataract, next to Hemlock Valley. Cause like that area is nice and all. It's just, I don't know who wants to trudge through that, you know? But continuing on our way. Okay, we are back in a little woods here. Wow, this one is very interesting. What the heck is that? A walking stick. <laughs> But uh, this one's very, very interesting. Oh, more mud. <laughs> That's just a straight puddle. I can't even jump it because the other side's mud. <sighs> Blue five. So we are officially on Hemlock Valley now. I don't know how long I've been on it. I don't know if that's the start. <coughs> Ooh. There goes all the nature. Um, but uh, yeah. Ooh. It's uh, it's a little path and then a loop, and then you gotta go all the way back to Black Walnut. So we're not even halfway yet, but I feel like we're doing all right so far. Um, I imagine the loop area. It's coming up shortly, but I also don't know how well I'll be able to see it with all the leaves. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> I feel that. Okay, so this is where the Scarlet Tanager begins, I suppose. So it looks like Hemlock Valley is just a loop. Okay, some kind of sign here. Oh, I was just talking about the hunting. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Archery will be ooh. Which I don't know if that's true. We're gonna continue this way first when we come back this way. Um I don't know if that's true because I've seen a lot of pictures online of what appears to be like uh gunshot wounds to a deer. Now, obviously I'm not an expert or anything, but like I think that's what it is. And I know I've heard reports of people saying that they're using guns here. Which, you know, come on. Archery's pretty sick. And it takes a s incredible amount of skill, I would say. Especially to hit like a deer. Especially to hit a deer in a spot with a bow and arrow that's gonna kill it. Whoo, that's crazy. But we're strolling in the woods here. I just wanna show you real quick. So up there, that star, that's where I parked. That's parking lot A. My dot's way down there. I'm basically as far away as you can be in the park. Which is why I say this area is creepy. Um, not really so much this one. The Scarlet Tanager is kind of creepy, but Hemlock Valley is kind of nice. But yeah, it's just weird because there's, like, I haven't seen another person on either of these trails before. Um, so kind of all alone in the woods. Okay, so that's the way the trail continues. There's a really nice bridge down there. Ow, my foot. I don't want to check out what this is. A little lookout. Oh, it's sort of a trail. Wow. There's some rustling over there. But we shall continue on. This, this hill is not easy. 
with the muddy leaves on it. Whew. Um, but the rest of the I heard was some girl and her dog. So, I mean, she's not on the trail, but I guess I've seen somebody else in this area now, which is nice. It kind of makes me feel better about this area now. Whew. We got a long way to go. We're only halfway. <sighs> got another nice bridge here. No water flowing underneath it, but nice bridge nonetheless. Reminds me of uh, St. John's. Like uh, that trail, when you the white meets the blue, then you continue on the blue. Um, back when you used to look nice. Now the bridge is all messed up, but when it looked nice, it sort of reminds me of. Trail here and a trail here. Let's see. We want to go this way. Okay. Ooh, what does this sign say? Adventure 12 Campus. Oh, they must have, uh, okay. They must have something where they take kids out here and look at stuff. Got some wood there. Quite a bit of wood, actually. That makes a lot of sense for this area, especially because we had that restoration area earlier. Come to another bridge. Have you been keeping track? That is three bridges on this Hemlock Valley Trail. Not on Scarlet Tanger though. Kind of strange. This is not much to cross. Actually, a bridge over that one muddy area would be lovely. Oh, I almost slipped earlier in some bad mud. And now my leg hurts, but huh, we're done. Hemlock Valley, Scarlet Tanager, back to Black Walnut, and we're done this little area. I don't want to go back to the mud. Okay, according to Google Maps, this is all still Hemlock Valley Trail. Um, up until where the Scarlet Tangler Tanager would uh, split into its two sections if the other section was open. Um, so quite a bit of this part, I imagine it probably goes back. Oh, that makes sense. It probably goes back to where the uh, maybe those are Scarlet Tanagers. Let me know, people that might know that because I don't. It sounds kind of like crows, but like weird. Anyways, um. Woo! Right after that muddy area when we left that big field, there's another way there that said like it's closed or something. That's probably the other section of the skeleton manager. Oh. Let me know for those birds though. Oh, I'm gonna have a tail under that. Um, let me know if that's the skeleton manager instead. It kind of sounded like a hyena laughing. So let me know. So I think my hunch is correct here. So this sign, I believe, so yeah, this starts the Hemlock Valley here. And this trail closed natural regeneration area. So that's the other side of Scarlet Tanager that's closed. So yeah, I was correct because the muddy part of the field is just over here. I don't want to go back through it, but I gotta. But yeah, so um, I guess Scarlet Tanager's pretty short with its other half there. Um, and kind of a little boring. I got my knife here because this area's kind of freaky. I know nothing's going to come at me, but it makes me feel safer. Um, but yeah, Scarlet Tanager, kind of boring, but you need it to get to Hemlock Valley, which is pretty nice. It's a solid, like, it feels a lot like St. John's Hemlock Valley, except for... I don't know. I don't want to say better maintained because that's not true. Like they're both equal, but like better maintained is where we're going to use. But we're back up to the mud. So honestly, I'll probably just show you when I get to the end of the, like when I get back to the, where this meets Black Walnut and the end of the trail. <sighs> I am facing myself. Nice one, Nolan. Okay, I lied. So, my idea is if I can get to that area that's not super muddy, I can get across that because that's not too big, opposed to going this way. I just got to try to get across this part, which is lots of branches and stuff. 
So I think this is probably the best. Holy crap, just almost fell in there for no reason. This is probably the best starting spot. And how stable is that one? Ooh, not very stable. But it does run the whole way. How stable is this? Also not very stable. Let's do that. Make a bit more of a bridge. Ooh, that one's deep. Ooh. Foot is definitely getting a little wet here. But that's okay. Better than getting fully wet the other way. Okay. All right. Made it to this. Which this part here isn't terrible, honestly. If I can jump across to that, we're looking good. If I don't make the jump, I'm eating mud. So can we get a little... Ooh, there's a stick here. Can I get a little... Nope. Okay, that's pure puddle. Is that gasoline? Huh. I don't know if it's just how the sun looks. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. Okay, I'm making it back now. Okay, so that was Scarlet Tanager and uh, Hemlock Valley. We're back here. And that's it for me. I'll review it uh, later on probably. Bye-bye. Okay, so rating for Short Hills, the Scarlet Tangager and Hemlock Valley. So, uh, scenery, 7 out of 20. Wasn't really much to it. Kind of just walking in the woods for most of it. Uh, entrance, 4 to 5. It's not bad. Pretty solid. There's a map there. Has good, good signage at the beginning. Location, 7 out of 10. Uh, not too far away from the parking lot, but a little ways. 2 out of 10 for popularity. Um, I saw that one... In the two times I've been on that section, I've seen one lady and her dog. And she wasn't even on the same trail. She was just in the woods, I guess. I don't know. Um, surfaces, 2 out of 5. Not really much to it. There's signage. Uh, there's those restoration sites that are blocked off. Fun, 3 out of 15. Kind of creepy. Don't like it. And muddy. Very muddy. Difficulty, 9 out of 15. The difficulty really all comes from the mud. Uh, there is a couple hills once you get to Hemlock Valley, but... And then that hill at the start, too. But, like, it's a lot of mud. Uh, length, 5 out of 10. It was, uh... Together, about 4 kilometers-ish. <coughs> wasn't, uh... Wasn't too, too bad. Wasn't too much, you know? It was alright. Safety, 8 out of 10. Um, it's pretty safe, pretty safe. There's a couple spots where, you know, the mud kind of makes it a little slippery. You could hurt your ankle that way, but yeah, it wasn't bad. So, 47 out of 100 for uh, Scarlet Tanger and Hemlock Valley. And personally, I do not recommend. Uh, <laughs> irrelevant to the, to the rating, I do not recommend going there. Unless it hasn't rained in like three weeks, maybe go there. Like high peak summer maybe go there. But that's for me, my boy.